Hey, welcome back, JD Aliens. Ooh, it is good to be back. I was gone for about a week because I had a surgery and I couldn't be on camera, but damn, it feels good to be back with y'all. Welcome, man. Hey, let me welcome the new people, man. You new guy, girl, who just showed up. Welcome to JDL TV, the untechnical tech channel. Now it's time to get on with what I came to do. We're going to talk about some PC gaming stuff such as the uh, the Rocat stuff they got, man. They got a new lineup with the Vulcan keyboards and the, the Burst Pro and the Elo 7.1 headphone. We're going to get into that, man. But first, I got to I gotta bow down. I got to bow down. Let me take my hat off. Be respectful. I got to bow down to the PC Master Race. Anybody who was gaming on a PC, you are an elite type of person, okay? I didn't know. I didn't know until I got with the with the Rocat stuff, man, and I did some PC gaming just to test this stuff out. You guys are the real deal. <sighs> I just want to pay my respects. You guys are the real deal. You are an elite type of person, and I respect you. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put some respect on your name. Let's do it. All right, so for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna shoot the rest of it with the audio coming directly from the Elo Air 7.1 wireless gaming headset. This thing is pretty doggone awesome, man. As you can tell, the voice quality is amazing. Uh, I don't even, I mean, I could stop right here talking about it, but since this is like a, you know, kind of a tech video kind of thing, I guess I gotta talk more about it. But you can already hear that the gaming, the mic quality is what's up. It is detachable. I can't detach it right now because I'm talking to you on it, but it's an excellent mic and the quality that comes out, superb. And I don't know what else could match it, to be honest with you. It does have an app. It's uh, it's the Rocat app. It's the, Actually, it's a Swarm app. So as I click on the Elo Air and I show you the app, it's got all kinds of adjustments you can make here between an EQ. Uh, and it also has a few presets here, like FPS, balance, racing, and stuff like that to kind of suit whatever game you're wanting to play RPG. I keep mine set on dynamic. And it just does fine for me just there. You got an audio quality switch, voice cl uh, clarity, uh, the bass EQ on and off, master volume, mic monitoring. That's one thing I actually really do love about this uh, headset is that it has like a, a hear through or an ambient sound mode where you can actually hear the outside surroundings uh, coming. It's feeding through the mic and you can hear the outside surroundings. Uh, and I like that because I'm gaming here in my office by myself. And I like to know what's going on. Like if like somebody walks in the door or something like that, I like to hear those noises. But you can turn that down or kind of fine tune it to be right where you want it to be. Now back to the app. You got your surround settings between 7.1 and 2.0. You can go for clarity or balance. Oh man, superhuman hearing. That's a good feature to have, man. That superhuman uh, hearing. Uh, that, and that's kind of a, a Turtle Beach thing. Turtle Beach and Rollcat teamed up to make these headphones and they have done a, a phenomenal job here uh, with this super hearing. I really like using that while I'm playing Ghost Recon because that really brings those sounds out and helps you, you know, target enemies and, and explosions and, and shots and stuff like that. For, uh, for where they're coming from. Now the app does cover the Burst Pro and the Vulcan Pro, and I guess we'll go into the Vulcan series next. So right now I got the Vulcan TKL. This is the short keyboard, man. This thing is backlit with RGB for days. It does come with a detachable USB-C cable, which is really nice, man, in case you're, you know, traveling, like you're a traveling gamer, man. You can slide this bad boy into your backpack and, um, Make sure you wrap it up because it's a really nice keyboard, man. You don't want to mess up these keys, which I'll be talking about in a second. But uh, yeah, it's, it's nice that it's detachable. That, that way you can just kind of slide it in your keyboard. It does not have the number pad. It, and that's that's why it's the short version. We'll get into the Pro in just a second. Now let me show you this thing a little bit more in depth. Of course you got the RGB, man, but you got, you can see all your guts in there, man. You see all your guts in there? Yeah, man, look at that. Okay, so this is a mechanical keyboard. No, it's not. It is an optical keyboard. Okay, so they've done this technology, man, where they 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 blended the, the mechanical feel. So you got this, let me unplug it before it starts making a bunch of noise. You got this mechanical feel. Oh. So satisfying. Got that mechanical feel and the travel on these keys. Oh, the travel on the keys is so good. 
I was using a Bluetooth keyboard. It's one of those thin chiclet style keyboards. It was the Microsoft uh, wireless keyboard. And I loved it because it was wireless. But once I went to the gaming keyboard, things got a little different for me, man. It was kind of a learning uh, curve. I had to allow for the extra travel and spring of the keys. And I think and love it. I ain't never going back to that Bluetooth keyboard. Let me tell you that for sure. But as this keyboard goes on, it's got mechanical keys, but it has the optical performance. So you're you're talking about the speed of light here, man. I'll put up a little video clip of how this stuff works in the video and editing. But uh, you got some stuff here, man, where you can go into gaming mode and that kind of just locks down the keyboard strictly for games. That way you can't accidentally press any buttons. You got your FX buttons right here and your brightness buttons right here for the illumination of the keyboard. But as you go into the app, you can adjust the keyboard lighting and you can kind of sync up the headphones, the mouse and the keyboard as far as your RGB scheme. Or you can just go with one color, different colors if you want to, whatever. You do have a volume control here here. You got a mute button, man. It's a great keyboard. And I really love it because uh, truth be told, this was the first one I received from Rocat, And I loved it so much, but I couldn't get used to not having a number pad because my previous keyboard had a number pad. So I asked if they would send over the big boy, which is the Vulcan Pro. Man, that's that long daddy right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, it's, it's nothing more. Actually, it is a lot more than the Vulcan TKL. As you can see, this is a full size keyboard. It does not have a detachable USB-C cable. That's because this boy is, is meant to stay right there at your PC. It's got all the same stuff. But as we scroll over to the opposite side of it, you're going to see you got some buttons right here. You got a mute button up top, an FX button, and that's going to allow you to you press that FX button and then you toggle or rotate the knob here, and then you can turn down the brightness or change your illumination on your keyboard. And if you have it synced up with the Swarm system, it'll also change the color of your, or color or brightness of your of your uh, burst mouse, as well as your ELO headphones right here. So as I hit this FX button and turn it on, you can see the illumination of the keyboard goes down a little bit. And I don't know if you can see this, man, but my headphones just kind of went down a little bit too, man. The, the illumination from the headphones, uh, headphones, everything is synced up, man. I really like that. Because sometimes I guess if you turn off all your lights, it's going to be a little bit bright. So you got it right at the touch of your fingers. But let's move this over for volume because this is also going to be your volume knob if you choose to touch that little button right there. Then, you, of course, you got your gaming mode and your oh, man, it's got everything you would need and the, the travel and the, the tactile feeling of the mechanical keyboard is where it's at. Of course, you got the little kickstands on the back, prop the keyboard up at an angle, but they also give you this uh, this wrist plate right here for better ergonomics. So you can just kind of rest the palm of your hand or your wrist on it. And it is held on by magnets. That way it doesn't kind of slide around on your desk and stuff like that. That's a nice little touch that you can opt to use that or not. I always keep mine attached. Uh, once again, it is magnetic and it gives you the perfect ergonomics to use this keyboard. I can't type, man, and that's why I suck as a PC gamer. You guys are elite human beings once again. But since using this keyboard, let me tell you about some of the other stuff I, I noticed as I was gaming. I unlocked so many other options when I was gaming, playing Ghost Recon, that I didn't even know existed as I was using the controller. I mean, I have options to do so many things. I can't even think of them right now, but there's all types of views, uh, more weapons, more choices, more actions to do all inside the keyboard. It's, I mean, it's not keyboard uh, specific, but it unlocked it. And everything is just right at the touch of your fingers, uh, you know, once you actually know how to play the game via keyboard. But I can't really bring up precision without talking about this thing right here, man. This is the Rocat Burst Pro. I didn't really understand how much a difference a mouse could make. I was previously using the Bluetooth mouse from Microsoft. It is, it's called the, uh, the Microsoft Precision Mouse. And it's a really great mouse. It's Bluetooth and you can do it wired if you want to. It has some customizable buttons. Love that mouse, used it for about two years. And I chose to put that thing away and I'll probably never bring it out again because now I have the Rocat here. Uh, the cable is a braided cable. As a matter of fact, all these cables are braided, very durable cables. It is not detachable because it's meant to stay at your PC. I'm going to talk about the bottom of this mouse first, because this is where I, I kind of learned about, you know, the effects of like all the smoothness and everything. It's got these like it's not a gel pad. It's some kind of it's you would just say it was plastic, man, but I don't know what it is. It glides. 
when I say it glides, it glides like a freaking Olympic skater. OK, it glides. It glides. OK, <laughs> this thing glides across your, your desk or your table. I don't know what kind of material this is, but it glides. Did I say it glides? I was so used to the latency. I didn't realize there was that much latency and start until I started gaming with this mouse and using it in my everyday use. As you can see here, I don't have multiple setups here. I have one setup. It is the gaming setup because I use the gaming setup to browse my computer and do all the functions I need to do, as well as edit. Because of the precision, I had to get used to it. Like I said, I didn't understand how much latency I was already used to until I got this mouse and I was kind of overshooting everything. And then I realized like this thing is spot on. Of course you can go into the app and, and tinker around with that stuff and fine tune this bad boy. It does have customizable buttons such as the DPI button. Of course it's DPI, but you can also program it to do other things. Uh, you got your scroll, uh, scroll wheel. Can, I can't even say the scroll wheel. <laughs> so you got your scroll wheel right there, which is phenomenal. It, it really has a tactile feel to it. I love that little grippiness on the top there. And then you got your two very customizable side buttons. Let's say you just want to get the mouse or the keyboard or the headset, you can lock in different pro, uh, profiles for each using the desktop app. And that's what I like about it. I suggest you get the whole setup because I can't tell you how much of a joy this has been uh, using in my everyday life. It's not, I haven't just used it for gaming. Gaming, it took it to a whole nother level. Let me tell you, uh, if you're a gamer, I cannot understand why you wouldn't like the Rocat lineup they have here, but in everyday PC life, this has been a game changer, man. Very effective and functional and, and just reliable stuff. Uh, I did have one issue a couple of times. I was doing a live stream. I've been I've been live streaming all week because I couldn't you know, have my face on camera. I was live streaming playing Stadia. And uh, I did notice that the mic dropped out maybe twice. I think it was. It was like the headphones just said, you know what? I'm done. <laughs> the, the wireless connection got broken up maybe once or tw I think it was twice. But it happened over two or three days. I, I was just counting because I was using this stuff for real. So it's not something I just unboxed and decided to show off on camera. I usually do that with a lot of stuff, but I've been using this stuff for about two, maybe even three weeks. And I have thoroughly enjoyed the products from Rocat. Uh, I've never used any of their products before, so I don't know what the other part of their lineup is like. But this Vulcan stuff and this ELO stuff, this is all right, man. Oh, I forgot to tell you about some of the important elements of the headphones. So um, the comfort. I gamed uh, for about three and a half hours on Saturday evening on my live stream. And of course, you, you will adjust the headphones a little bit, but they are so comfortable. Uh, the ear pads are made of a regular foam, but the way it's done, it's just a wide open ear cup. Uh, I don't know about sound bleed, but I can't hear anything from the outside. It's very closed off, so you do get immersed into your gaming. But the comfort is super important, especially for me because I wear headphones for a long time. And I got to experience that comfort on this past Saturday as I was gaming for three and a half hours online They're like this is live streaming stuff and i was very comfortable and i was using this mic and everybody said that mic sounded good so as far as comfort you're good to go for many hours i don't know how long i could have gone you know i wasn't even fatigued when i got off of my live stream so who knows how long i could have gone uh, as far as music i haven't tested them out for music mm, they're gaming headphones okay so <laughs> they're meant for a purpose but if you need to use these for a video call or something or even a voiceover a voiceover and live streaming, straight up gaming. Uh, I don't experience any latency with this wireless experience. I haven't noticed any at all. Like I said, the only one problem I had was a cutout for a couple of seconds. But uh, other than that, the headphones are clutch, man. Uh, Rocat, you did a good job with your products, man. And I definitely approve. You know what I haven't done in a long time? I have not given a company or a product the emoji hands. Let's throw some emoji hands up, man. This is a good lineup from Rocat. Uh, so if you're in the market for some new gaming gear, some PC gaming gear, if you want to be part of the PC master race, <laughs> you go ahead and go over to Rocat's website, man, and check out this stuff, man. Hey, I'm going to get out of here, man. I'm going to clean up this mess and get my situation back right. I might do some gaming, might do some work. I don't know what I'm going to do, but y'all got to get up out of here. But until we see each other again, make sure y'all keep being good to each other. And I'll see you when I see you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me get this straight. You sat through this whole video, the whole thing, and never once decided to hit the subscribe button or the like button. Man, it'd be the ones closest to you. I'll see how you are. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained?
Is this not why you are here? 